Hey guys, uh, welcome to your collective reading. Uh, general collective love reading uh, for the second half of your August from the uh, 16th to the 31st. I think, yeah, I, I got confused with, yeah, there are 31 days in the, okay. Uh, to the 31st, we're gonna take a look at your over energies. Um, uh, regarding love and the person that you are connecting with and then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you what their over energies are like and then uh, we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice before we get started if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified when new content is being uploaded onto my channel give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video if you feel like there's someone out there that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, let's get started. Over energies for the collective regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. For the second half of August from the 16th to the 31st. What is surrounding the collective regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here? Okay, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. I, mean, I, 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 feel, I feel like someone here is disengaged from a connection here. They're ready to drop it. I feel like there is this energy of really not communicating with someone. Someone has completely withdrawn with the communication. Uh, texting has been limited. The phone calls has been uh, limited. So I don't know. I feel like someone here is in pursuit of their own happiness here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what else is going on here. Why is this hermit here? Why is this hermit here? Why is this firm out here? Hermit and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Why is this page of swords here? Ten of Wands. Um, I'm feeling like someone here is in a connection where they feel like they are becoming a burden or someone is a burden here. Um, someone's ready to release this burden. Why is this King of Wands here? King of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So I feel as though collective, you're pushing someone away here. Or, um, Collective, feel free to switch the roles if, if you want. Maybe uh, this person is pushing you away or they're not communicating with you. Why is this Four of Swords here? All right, we have the Emperor. Might be dealing with an Aries here, um, um, Collective. Why is this Two of Cups here? Two of Cups and the Devil. So. Well, the reason why someone feels like it's become a heavy burden is because they feel like this relationship is toxic. Why is this uh, Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, someone here is carrying so much weight on their shoulders that someone here is ready to get away. I mean, someone here is stuck. I mean, this could be a karmic connection here. Um, so I just feel like someone here is trying to work on 
getting away from this toxic relationship. So, um, collective, this could be you, like I said, or someone that you're dealing with um, that's feeling this way. Like I said, feel free to switch the rules if you want. The rules could be flipped or reversed. Apply this to your own unique situation. Tell me about the uh, person that the collective is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards the collective? For the second half of August from the 16th to the 31st. Seems like both of you seems like both of you want to walk away or just be apart from each other. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. We have the Knight of Cups. So collective, you could be dealing with someone that's younger than you. It doesn't have to be. But uh They could have a young energy to them. Uh, we have the strength card, Leo energy, and the three of cups. And we have the nine of wands here. All right, uh, I, I just feel like both of you are sick of each other. Both of you are sick of each other. You guys are ready to walk away from each other. It seems like this queen of wands is already, might already be dating around sleeping around perhaps because we do have the three cups here um uh, yeah there's this energy of just feeling tired of each other and looking to get away from each other um why is this eight cups here it just seems like both of these are emotionally not really invested into each other that's what i'm feeling here There's a lack of cooperation, I'm feeling, because also there's very minimal communication between these two. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups. Maybe there is a third party situation involved here. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Swords here? And the Five of Swords. So, um, seems like there are other people involved here. Also, I feel like maybe someone here is hearing rumors that their person is running around town, flirting with other people, making out with other people, sleeping with other people. I mean, someone could be finding this out through social media. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Four of Swords. Both of you guys have the Four of Swords. You guys are so disengaged, disconnected from each other. Why is the Strength card here? We have the Queen of Wands. You see, I feel like... I'm feel so we have a pair. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. I mean, what this Queen of Wands really wants from this King of Wands is more sex. But someone is completely withdrawn, and I feel like this Queen is already looking for more options. Why is this uh, Three of Cups here? Three of Cups in the Sun, Leo energy. We have the Hermit again. This is on, on the bottom of the deck. So both of you are sort of like in hermit mode from each other. Sort of disconnected from each other, disengaged from each other. Um, right now, I feel like more so on this Queen of Wands aside, this Queen of Wands is just out having a good time. Also hanging out with friends and stuff like that.
I feel like this Queen of Wands is in this energy of, is this connection worth sticking around for? Because right now, I just feel like this Queen of Wands is just out having a great time. And we have this King of King or this Emperor just sort of like, Just also disengage. I feel like they're doing their own thing. I feel like this person is uh, withdrawn on some sort of spiritual journey, trying to manifest something new or something like that. Um, it seems like both of these are on different pages. I mean, feel free to place yourself where you see fit, collector. Either you're this Queen of Wands or this King of Wands slash Emperor. But it seems like. Both of you are stepping away from each other because perhaps you guys are toxic for each other. I'll come in advice here for the collective regarding their love situation for the second half of August from the 16th to the 31st. All right, the, the Seven of Swords, uh, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo Energy, Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Wands again. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the sun showing up again. Yeah, I, so... Especially if it's becoming toxic, I think the best thing to do is to step away for a little bit and just go off and just do your own thing. And I feel like this Queen of Wands is totally sort of taking advantage of this opportunity. The thing is, uh, both of these are not really talking to each other. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Seven Swords, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands showing up two times. Why is this Magician here? We have the King of Pentacles. So we have the Kings and Queen of Pentacles here. Well, we definitely have a masculine energy that is definitely manifesting. I really feel like both of you are getting away from each other. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Thing is, I feel like you guys haven't really said anything about separating. <laughs> I think I, I, I just feel like you guys are just going to let this fizzle out. Why is this, th uh, so Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, why is this Queen of Wands here? You have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? All right, we have the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Sun card. I feel like both of you guys are in the uh, pursuit of your own happiness, just finding some sort of stability and balance here because... It just seems like the, the lack of communication has caused some sort of toxicity between you two. You guys could be making each other sick too. You guys could be making each other sick. So I feel like both of you are really getting away from each other for the sake of your guys' sanity, which is the right thing to do. But um, yeah, I just feel like you guys are not maybe communicating towards each other about you know separating I, I just feel like you guys are gonna let this fizzle out uh, both of you are getting away from each other so collective i hope this resonated if it did like share uh comment if you guys haven't done so yet uh hit the notification bell subscribe i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks